Sir, thanks. 601 right now. And in the last few hours, Baltimore City Police report they've arrested protesters who refused to leave City Hall overnight. Those protesters disrupted last night's committee hearing on the confirmation of Kevin Davis as Baltimore City Police Commissioner. 11 News reporter Jennifer Franciotti joins us live at City Hall. Jen, those protesters are all gone now. Oh, yeah. The scene is wrapped up here, but it looked quite different just about an hour ago, Mindy and Jason, and that's when about two dozen city police officers were here outside of City Hall. There were more officers inside. There were protesters outside of City Hall who decided to leave when they were asked to do so, but there were arrests that were made overnight. These protesters refused to leave after being warned for hours that they needed to vacate the building. We have a visual on two of those arrests, although the AP this morning is reporting that 12 people were arrested. These were mainly young people. Some college students, possibly some high school students as well, all part of a movement called Baltimore Uprising. They have made a list of 19 demands. We're going to have more on that in just a moment. But first, this all unfolded last night during that committee hearing on interim police commissioner Kevin Davis's confirmation. The group started disrupting the hearing, calling for a meeting with both Davis and the mayor. Meanwhile, the committee went ahead and did some work. They voted to approve Davis. That will go before the full city council next week. Councilman Carl Stokes, who's running for mayor, abstained from the vote. Councilmember Nick Mosby, Voted against the confirmation. As for those protesters who again were quite vocal throughout that hearing, some of their demands included rerouting commuters during future protests, and they are demanding that police wear badges with name tags at all times. Well, not addressing those demands, but instead the desire for the job and to continue to communicate with the community, Davis had this to say. This is just part of where the city is right now. Um, you know, and if we're going to get to the other side of it, we got to go through all these moments. Well, that meeting last night ended around 7.30 or 8, but again, those protesters remained. The situation getting wrapped up just about an hour ago, and we're told that the protesters will be charged with trespassing. Reporting live here outside of City Hall, Jennifer Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.